Hey guys, what's up? It's the Snake Dude1814 here, and in this week's video, I'm actually going to be talking about hissing roaches as pets. So, for those of you guys that don't know, I've actually started to take a little bit of interest in the invertebrate hobby, specifically keeping cockroaches. While I do love breeding them and using them for feeders, primarily using dubia roaches, I have grown to love hissing roaches. So, this is sort of be like a first impressions video because I'm sort of new to this whole owning roaches as pets. As far as I know, I've had my trio of adult hissing roaches now for quite a few months. I have also unboxed some other hissing roaches from the YouTuber Indiana Herps and Invertebrates. If you haven't seen that video, check it out right here. So, what makes these roaches good pets. You know, a lot of people, they hear roach and they get really squeamish. And I won't lie, I used to be sort of iffy about them. In fact, I didn't even want to handle mine, and here I am having multiples in each hand. And so, why are they good pets? Their needs are very, very basic. I keep mine in critter keepers that sit on top of my water dragon habitat. Therefore, the heat from the water dragon habitat actually keeps them warm. It's nice because that means I don't have to buy a heat map. Now granted, they do get fairly large for a roach. As you can see, my big female right here is halfway through the length of my index finger. She's just chilling out right here. She's more of a black color phase where my two males are more of an orange color. In terms of the pros of keeping these guys, it's just they're easy. It's a roach. It's hard to kill a roach, even in bad conditions. Again, the trick is we want to make sure we're providing a pop proper habitat. So I keep my critter keepers nice and clean. I clean out all their frass weekly just to make sure that they're living in a safe, sanitary environment. Best part, I think, about keeping hissing roaches is feeding. I won't lie, guys. My mom wasn't too on board about roaches in the house. But once she learned that they eat all the leftover fruits and vegetables that we don't eat at dinner, it's sort of like a nice little clean system. The one thing that I really like about hissing roaches too is their handleability. They're pretty calm for a roach species. Sure, they do give off a hiss here and there, especially when I go to pick them up out of their critter keepers. However, that's just because they're slightly alarmed. But as you can see, once they're out, they really don't do anything. And that's why I kind of like. It just sort of sits on your hand. Uh, I've never done it, but you know, Netflix with roaches. One of the other things that I find interesting about hissing cockroaches though is their personality. I found that both my males tend to be very hissy. I don't actually keep them together at the moment because males are known to fight. However, if you have a colony, then territories can be established. For the time being, I've sort of kept all my roaches organized between size and age, I guess. Uh, so I keep my adults together except for my two males. One just lives alone while I then keep a male and my female together for breeding purposes. The babies I've found aren't as handleable and I think that's just because they're small and skittish. Which I guess that can be seen as a con if you're looking to handle a roach right away. However, I won't lie, adults are pretty cheap. When I first got my two females, I think they were five bucks for two of them. So it's not a bad deal. Overall guys, I figured I'd make this quick little short because I like roaches, and maybe you guys will start to like roaches too. They really are interesting pets, and uh, expect some more videos on them in the future. This has been the Snake Dude 1814, and I will see you in the next video. Adios.